Hello everybody and welcome to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review, I'm going to be reviewing another Ghost Energy Drink flavor. This flavor is going to be Ghost Take on Warhead Sour Green Apple flavor. And on the Fancy Sip Review, I've reviewed a few of the Ghost flavors that are based on sour candies. I've tried the Red Berry as well as the Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kit. And I've reviewed the Warhead uh, Watermelon flavor, which was incredibly sour. Actually, it was too sour to a detriment of itself. Now, reviewing the Sour Patch Kits, they were slightly sour in terms of the flavor profile, but they were much more drinkable. Now, I'm hoping that this Sour Green Apple flavor is a little bit more sour than the Sour Patch Kid flavors, but without as much malic acid taste. Now, what is Ghost? Ghost is a Las Vegas-based energy drink company, and they are more in lines of a pre-workout that's sold in can form. With these products, you are getting actually useful things for going to the gym, and uh, it's a lot more different than your typical energy drink that is just a flavor using artificial sugar and caffeine. What is in this drink? Well, I'll let you know right now. The nutrition facts are 10 calories. You're getting 35 milligrams of sodium, 2 grams of carbohydrates, and that's it. 10 calories is pretty good. The ingredients, you're getting carbonated water, malic acid. That's going to be the sour stuff that was in the watermelon one. Natural and artificial flavors. You're getting citric acid. Uh, Carnipure, which is L-carnitine, L-tartrate. Taurine, tartric acid. Sucralose, there's going to be your artificial sugar. Natural caffeine, coming from coffee bean. Sodium benzoate, which is a preservative. Potassium sorbate, another uh, preservative. Alpha-GPC, which is made of alpha-glycerol, phosphorylcholine, 50%, ascorbic acid. Neurofactor, which is trademarked, which is coffee from coffee arabica. Fruit extract, astrogen, which is 10 to 1 astragelius, memba, membanaceous. And 50 to 1 Panix Noto Ginseng. You're getting root extracts, niacinamide, pyroxyl 5 phosphate, and methylacol methylacobalamine. That was a tough one to say. So, what Ghost is proud of is their complex blend, which is Carnipure, L carnitine, L tartrate. You're getting 1,000 milligrams. Taurine, 1,000 milligrams. Natural caffeine coming from coffee bean, 200 milligrams. Uh, you are getting alpha GPC, which is our alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine, 50%, 150 milligrams. Neurofactor coffee, coffee arabica fruit extract, 100 milligrams. And finally, their astrogen, 10 to 1 astragelius <laughs> membranacus and 50 to 1 panix noto ginseng root extract. 25 milligrams. Here is what this portion of the can looks like. Because that was tough to read. Now the front end of the can just shows the ghost logo with fan favorite Wally the Warhead with a sour green apple under it. And finally on the can showing the stuff they are proud of. This is pretty much their sales pitch advertising side of the can, which repeats, you're getting 1,000 milligrams of Carnipure, 200 milligrams of natural caffeine, 150 milligrams of Alpha GPC, 100 milligrams of Neurofactor, and 100% of four daily vitamins. Those vitamins are vitamin C, vitamin B6, vitamin B3, which is niacin, and vitamin B12. I think that this part of the can exists for people that are too lazy and don't really care to actually read the ingredients of what they're putting in their body. I mean, admittedly, 
I can't even pronounce half this stuff and I'm putting it in my body, but I hear from fitness influencers, this is one of the better energy drinks. So who knows? It tastes pretty good. So with all of that said, spent five minutes reading the can. Let's see how this tastes. Because honestly, that's what's most important. Ask G Fuel. That's pretty much how they make all their money is just by gimmicky taste. But people love it. So with the color of this beverage, it is a clear color. It does have a minor hint of yellow to it. I do not know if this color is coming from the coffee bean or a different ingredient, but as you can tell, there is a slight color to it, and I don't think that's coming from the light that's next to me. Let's see how this smells. Now, this being a sour green apple the only thing that i can compare this to is the four loco green apple now obviously this doesn't have malt in it and this isn't alcoholic but that's the closest of a beverage that i can compare this to this isn't a cider taste this is not a granny smith really taste it is a very artificial candy smelling beverage that does smell a lot like a sour apple warhead let's see how this sits in the mouth feel and let's see if this is the malic acid taste that was in the watermelon flavor or if this is drinkable this drink does have a bit more punch in terms of the acidity compared to that of the uh, Sour Patch Kid flavors, which tasted more sweet than sour before they were gone. This one tastes more in lines with the other Warhead flavor, the watermelon, but it is much more drinkable. I don't know if that's because I dislike watermelon flavors. My least favorite uh, Mountain Dew is the Major Melon, so... Maybe I just am not a big fan of watermelon. Didn't really notice that till I started reviewing beverages. But this does have a lot more sour taste to it. It does seem as if with Ghost, although they do have two candies that are sour related that they have the uh, branding of. Again, the Sour Patch Kids and the Warhead. It seems like the Sour Patch Kids flavors, they don't really put as much uh, sour into the taste. They have Swedish Fish and uh, Bubblicious as well, but those aren't really sour candies. But I do think that comparing the two sour brands, it seems as if you're going to buy the Warheads, you're actually getting sour if you're buying the Sour Patch Kids. You know, I mean, they're not going to make the same flavor twice. They're not going to have a Sour Patch Kid Lemon and then a Warhead Lemon. I don't know if... Their company is trying to figure out what way they want to go with the next sour candy flavor. But in terms of the taste, this is very drinkable, especially compared to the sourness of the watermelon. Let's give my final thoughts. Just drink this one more time and let you know what I'm going to give this in a rating. I think the drink is very good. It is a very drinkable beverage. It's honestly exactly what you would want with a sour energy drink. This doesn't have any sucralose flavor. It tastes exactly like a sour uh, warhead, but it does have that little bit of malic acid -y taste that is getting into the back of my throat, which is making it tough to swallow while reviewing this. But it is shocking that there is zero sugar in this. This tastes like it's loaded with sugar, which the artificial replacement sweetener is sucralose, but it doesn't have that taste. It's masked so much by the sour green apple.
I personally think with Ghost, they don't have any flavors that are bad that I've reviewed so far. Every company has like one bad flavor. But honestly, even the watermelon that I keep talking about, how how sour it is and how tough it is to actually drink, that tastes good. It's like a gimmicky beverage more so than anything. Would, will I give the sour uh, green apple warhead flavor ghost energy drink? I'm going to give this a 9.2 out of 10. I think that this could easily be somebody's favorite energy drink. In terms of ingredients, Ghost goes well beyond any other company. The cost of these drinks is about $2.60. So comparing this to other energy drinks, it is more expensive. This is about $0.50 cents more than Bucked Up. This is like twice the price of a Rip It or any anything that you can get at Dollar Tree. But the actual use of this, I mean... Given the uh, percentage of the ingredients, I mean, B vitamins are kind of useless. You can get those with anything. It's the complex blend that they have that you might have to drink that every day to see any effects, which I can't imagine you're going to be drinking energy drinks every day and being healthy. But, you know, if you're just drinking this as a pre-workout, there's really not many other pre-workouts on the market. Uh, there's, there's just energy drinks. There's, I, I guess uh, the closest would be, what, C4, who also has candy flavors. They have a Starburst flavor and a Skittles flavor. But I think Ghost is knocking it out of the park again. Thank you so much for watching this video, and cheers.